Hey guys, this is Vice of the Unigamer. Just want to say thank you all for watching. Here is my first analysis and review as well as speculation video. The reason is because Pokemon Direct has now released some very, very awesome information. And let's take a look together, shall we?海外で働くアニを訪ねて僕はこの地にやってきたバックパックにはおいっ子たちへのプレゼントアニにやったら昔みたいにポケモンバトルだ Okay, so that was basically what was been revealed <laughs> at um, the Pokemon Nintendo Direct 2017. Okay, so for my analysis, Pokemon is now being released on the Nintendo Switch. It's called Pokemon, sorry, Pokemon Tournament DX. I don't know what the DX stands for, but let's just say it's Pokemon. I keep saying Pokemon. Pokemon Tournament Awesome. That's in place of the DX. Now, that's not even the main highlight of this video. The main highlight of this video is obviously Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. The next coming games of this year. The sequels to their predecessors. Big man. I am perpetually, emotionally all over the place right now. Let's take a little... Okay, so basically, 
I think you're still the same protagonist because it's still the same time, I suppose. You just got a different outfit on. Okay, so... I think that you, some certain Pokemon moves might be more heightened, heightened up, or I should say hyped up, in terms of graphics and animation wise. So it appears. Okay. And now as for so Galio and Lunala, it, I'm hoping and as it would have seemed, I'm really hoping that they have a bigger purpose and a bigger role to play now than how they did in their previous. Um as for their outlook, their outlook with this whole black thing all over them, my assumption and my speculation would turn out to be that the legendary Necrozoma or Necrozma or however you want to pronounce it. I would say that he is basically the true the third of the making them the trio. So I would assume that Necrozma has some sort of fusion interaction with both of them possibly increasing their power or what their true nature is supposed to be i don't know but i know for a fact these black things are on them is definitely the crossmo especially with this prismatic different color thing design going on yep uh for me i how i would guess is because i mean obviously the color and the design wise but i have a little things whereas you know so Galio, the sun, Lunala, the moon, and let's say the crossbow is the eclipse. Basically, you got yourself the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse. So maybe we could give that a name. We could give that a different transformational name. Let's call it the Eclipsal Evolution. Eclipsal Evolution. I like that. But I don't know. That's what I speculate, and that's what I think. And it's obvious, it's pretty much obvious at this point that it looks pretty much like the crossbow has a deep involvement in why they look like this and who knows there might be a plot twist who knows there might be a very very strong change within the story who knows we really don't know at this point but I'm happy to see that Sun and Moon has now gotten their sequels and I'm hoping that the story will somewhat drastically change and as for different changes such as Pokedex wise, I think that might be the same Pokedex, but it'll still be a good time to showcase some new Pokemon. Um, and let's see, we got the Pokedex, we probably got, uh, yeah, what about um, Team Skull and um, the Foundation, the Ether Foundation. I don't know what's, I don't know, like, I don't know what the story is going to be about, but I am very hyped for it. I'm gonna. Have, I don't. I'm going to get a new 2D as XL because it looks awesome. Just so I can be prepared for this game, it's coming on out on the day after my birthday. Shouts out to Novemberians, Novemberians. Where well, well, I want to call them. But I want to say thank you guys for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe, comment if you think I did a good job. Um, I'll be looking out for more future news on Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I am definitely getting Ultra Moon because previously I had Pokemon Moon and I think Lunala was cool. Although he has this weird thing sticking out of his chest. But it's all good though. Oh, I almost forgot this please. Let's go back. Now that animation right there, I think that might just be animation for using Z moves.